Hallelujah. Praise you, Dewave. Understanding Revelations 3 and 5. Now, some of you know who's been following me, of my subscribers, that I said that when I get information, I was going to pass that information along to you. It's important that we understand Scripture and understand what the Bible is telling us to do. This is for us to actually do. This is not for the Most High to wave His hand and give us something magically. The magic is in understanding the Scripture. The beauty and holiness is in understanding the Scripture. Revelations 3 and 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white remnant, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. I say again, Revelations 3 and 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white remnant, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Understanding something. Those who take the scripture seriously and understand what the Bible is saying. The Most High, He is not going to put the white remnant on you. You're going to have the white remnant on yourself because you understand Scripture and you take His teachings and the following seriously. You understand that Revelation is a book of prophecy and it commands you to do something. Now, I know what the naysayers are going to say. So you're saying that we won't enter the kingdom unless we have on all white. There are going to be some people who think like that. But if you believe and feel like you are the elect and you're doing everything in your power to follow these commandments, you're going to be in white remnant. Recently, I did a complete 360 on my wardrobe. Everything that I have now is being replaced with white clothing. I think it's important to understand what the scriptures is saying and to follow that and to be clothed in white remnant. I take what is saying seriously and I understand it is the duty of man. The Most High is not going to snap his fingers and put that on the elect. He that overcometh will be dressed in white remnant. So, the next time you go to the mall or to Macy's and you see that LeBron James jersey or you see that Patrick Mahomes jersey or you see that designer clothes, pants, jacket, shoes, what are you going to do? Are you going to wear it and be of the world? Are you going to be in all white? Now, for this information that goes over people's head, these are the people that's probably going to be looking kind of confused on that day. We're supposed to read and understand these scriptures. And we are supposed to conduct our life as if the Bible is a guideline on how we live. So when it says the same shall be clothed in white remnant and I am seeking perfection in these scriptures I'm going to have that white remnant on because it is a conscious choice that I'm making. Because I believe and I'm doing everything I can to be part of the elect. Once again of course you're going to have people say that doesn't mean anything. Well it doesn't mean anything to you but it means something to me. And for those of you who have that holy ruach that's speaking to you, the information will either make sense or it won't. So my understanding of Revelations 3 and 5 is that if you are in the truth, you need to revamp your wardrobe and your clothing needs to be of white remnant. 
A wise man once said, he's not even a Hebrew Israelite. You can either take the information or you can leave it alone. This was a real quick video. I'm out. Shalom. Peace.